Your Excellency the President, colleague Ministers of State, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ghanaians, it's great to be here with you this evening, and it's great to be Ghanaian. And it's great to be Ghanaian because this is the time when we can say that we are truly proud of ourselves as a country. Those of you who are here in America, I'm sure you were very excited when you heard that President Obama had decided to come and visit us in Ghana. And I'm sure that when they gave you the reasons why President Obama came to Ghana and nowhere else, you were very proud to be Ghanaian. Because what that said, what that said about our country was that the promise that was Ghana at the time when we achieved our independence as the first black African country in sub-Saharan Africa, the promise that we showed to our continent is the promise that is living in us today. And it's because we've had peaceful transitions of power from one political party to another. And because we have been able to do this in a way that the international community can attest that we had free, fair, and credible elections. <laughs> and yes, they were hard-won elections. And yes, both sides took the fight to each other. But after it was over, after the last ballots were counted, after we had declared President Mills as the president of Ghana, we came together once again as Ghanaians. Because the things that unite us are much stronger than the things that divide us. Because we take pride in our country and we take pride in our achievements. And for those of you who are here today as Ghanaians in the United States of America, I want to tell you that we're very proud of you. We're proud that you are law-abiding citizens. We're proud that you've made something of yourselves in America. And ladies and gentlemen, we want you to bring back what you have learned in America to Ghana. Because when we were campaigning in this election, it wasn't about an NDC Ghana or an NPP Ghana. It was about building a better Ghana. A Ghana that can offer hope and opportunity to our children and our children's children, and by the way, can give us some good things in the here and now. The task has not been easy. And you sitting in the United States of America are very much aware of the difficulties that have come as a result of the global economic downturn. And given that we live in an integrated world, in a more linked up world, it is not possible that things can happen in this country that can affect the economy of the United States in such a drastic way and not affect us in Ghana as well. But I want to tell you that in spite of all of that, because we have a government that is committed to taking the hard decisions and doing what might not necessarily be politically popular, but what is in the best interest of this country, we have used the better part of our first year in office to administer the resources of the state responsibly. We have decided that the most important thing for us is to entrench our democracy. And so even though people have been saying that we're not going fast enough and we're not hitting our people on the other side, the point is that we don't intend to do anything of the kind. That is not to say, that is not to say, that if you have done something, or if you have been given a position of responsibility, and you have behaved in a way that can only be described by a court of competent jurisdiction as criminal, you will not face the consequences. You will. But we will not just go out going after people for the sake of it because we are not on the same side. Because as I said, the things that unite us are stronger than the things that divide us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a warm-up act. 
because I'm sure you want to listen to the president. Yeah. And I certainly don't intend to say everything that I know His Excellency the President wants to say. But what I do want to say is that I'm very proud to be part of President Mill's administration. Because if today, if today we are being recognized for our democracy, and ladies and gentlemen at the back, we're still one function, and we're still one event going on here right now. If today we have been recognized as a democracy, as an example for the rest of Africa, it is because our president, our president was leader enough and was man enough at the time when he lost an election to concede, to step back, and to come back and fight another day and to be your president. And that is the reason why we said we were giving you a better man for a better Ghana. And believe me, that better Ghana will come. And we'll be proud to share it with all of you. Thank you for being here tonight. God bless you. God bless Ghana. Thank you.